Oh, we have new technology that we're working on here at the library for when we move back to our renovated space. And one of those uh, products that's going to be in our renovated space will be a heat press. And so we're slowly, are slowly and surely learning how to use the heat press. And basically, if you see the shirt that I'm wearing, you'll see that I've taken our logo and put it on there. And so very quickly, I'm going to show you how we actually did that. So using uh, a Cricut, if you're familiar with the Cricut, we took our logo and uh, JAMA cut out heat transfer vinyl um, on the Cricut. Um, it comes back out on a little sheet like this. Um, I take the garment that I, I'm going to apply the logo to, oops, pardon me, and set it on the heat press base. I've got a piece of tape on there marking where we actually want to place the transfer on. We'll then take the transfer and I'm aligning it with the tape there so that it's where we want it for this particular garment and I take the scotch tape off because we don't want to press that onto the fabric. The heat press is already set to 350 degrees and is warmed up. The Teflon cover here just protects the upper and lower plates of it. So we just cover that over top. We swing the arm around, clamp the press down, and it's automatically set for 12 seconds. It'll count down. Uh, we just patiently wait while the machine does its work. and. Uh, once it's done, you'll hear a beep. All finished. Swing the arm around. It is very hot at this point, so you want to be careful. We take that off. We have our transfer paper that just peels off very gently. You just don't want to pull the product off with it. And there we have a logo on a sweater. And that's our new technology that we're working on for our new space. We hope to have this and, and many other things to share with you as we get closer to moving back. Thanks, and you all have a great day.